Hey guys, welcome to the channel and in this video I'm just breaking down some sparring footage. Now, we were doing demonstrations at an event, so you know, just doing some sparring to demonstrate what we're all about. So, here you'll notice that I go for the collar tie with my lead arm, which is against the traditional use it your back arm. The thing is, I was baiting my front leg so that way my blue belt could commit for a takedown, you know, I'm feeding it to him. Also, I know he likes doing arm drags, so feeding the, the, the lead arm just kind of makes it more predictable and easy to counter. We had to do this the whole day, so I'm doing like lazy uh, old man jujitsu, so I could just bait him to do stuff and I can conserve energy. Also, you know, lower level guys, I like to let them work a little bit. So you'll see now that he will go for a takedown, but he... I deny it and he second gets it. I'm kind of ready to sprawl, but also not to fully commit to the sprawl. All right. So here we are. We're grappling again. And I'm doing the same thing. I just want him to kind of commit for that takedown. And I'm just denying all his grip fights. And you can see here my stance is not perfect. I just want him to go for it when he sees the chance. All right. So here I use this grip because this is nice to set up an arm drag or me to back off and there we go that's what we want him shooting in for the double leg as you can see i caught his upper body and then i sprawl making myself heavy now i know my blue belt here likes playing this just get up game so here i could transition to a front headlock and start sweeping him all right and here i can stay heavy and just working for that front headlock but not fully committing to it because i want to take his back or do something else um because dash chokes are not my strong point or, or, you know. So from here, I let him stand up so I can stay heavy, so I can just slow him down. So here you see, I start sweeping him again. I flip him over and I immediately start going for the leg entanglement instead. All right, so here I get my reap in and I'm starting to go for my heel hook. Now, you see here, I get my grips in, but I catch and release immediately. I don't commit for these things because things can go south and you know, you just don't want to hurt anyone so here he spins through and here i'm transferring to a saddle all right and he's trying to pressure it forward and now nah, just controlling there he tips over and that is the round so just two things i want to highlight about this uh, working on attacking the head and then attacking the legs thereafter it's a great um transitional skill that one should learn and then also leg lock etiquette don't lock in the heel hook with the intent to finish it you know it's just one of those things that anything can go wrong but anyway guys until next time take care